Hey guys and welcome to my complete Modernia guide. Modernia is the newest and probably the most awaited character in Nikkei and now she's finally here. In this video, we will be breaking down Modernia's different skills to see how they actually work, show you some ways to maximize her utility, go over her best teams and synergies, and basically everything you need to know about this character. If there's anything else I want to add, I will be sure to leave it in the pinned comment and with all that being said, let's jump right in. To start things off, Modernia is a DPS character that can deal a ton of damage using her burst. The way this works is after Modernia uses her burst, she gains unlimited ammo for 15 seconds while also increasing her line of sight. This means that she will be able to hit multiple enemies as long as they are inside of her line of sight which is indicated by a yellow outline. Do keep in mind that Modernia will not be able to attack more than one target from an individual enemy. Basically, if you are up against bosses that have turrets or any object on their body that can be destroyed, you will only be able to attack one at a time even if there are multiple multiple turrets within Modernia's extended range, but this will be able to target boss projectiles. On top of that, the auto-targeting from this ability will not work on enemy weak points, so you will have to aim it manually. Modernia's burst also has a unique ability to increase your team's full burst duration by 5 seconds, making her the first character to have this effect. This is a very strong skill effect that will increase your team's damage overall. At level 10, she deals 2.24% of her attack as damage for 15 seconds. Modernia's burst is on a 40 second cooldown just like every other burst type 3 character. Character. And this also has an energy damage type. Modernia's burst makes her a really good character for stages with high enemy density and even for boss fights. In stages where you have a lot of enemies, she is able to hit multiple enemies at the same time. And when it comes to boss fights, her attacks are so fast that she can almost instantly break the enemy weak points. One more thing that makes Modernia's burst so strong is her normal attack scaling. If you did not know, Modernia's normal attacks deal 7.71% of her attack as damage, which is really strong compared to the other machine gun units who only deal around 5% of their attack as damage. Moving on to her skill 1, High Speed Evolution. This ability activates when a normal attack hits and deals 3.05% of attack as damage. Damage. This used to be 0.76% of her attack, so just like her burst, this ability also got a pretty significant increase in damage. A very important thing to keep in mind is that this effect is a separate instance of damage, which means that this can actually crit, so any buff that Modernia has will also increase the damage for this ability. The second part of her skill 1 activates when her normal attack hits 200 times. This increases Modernia's critical damage quite significantly, giving her 14.25% more critical damage at level 10. This effect can stack up to 5 times and lasts for 10 seconds. On top of that, for every stack that Modernia has, she will also get 5.04% less ammo and this basically means that she gets 15 less bullets which comes down to 75 less bullets at maximum stacks. Do keep in mind that if you are inside Modernia's burst, every single instance of her normal attack will count toward this ability. So the more enemies you are targeting at the same time, the quicker you will get the stacks for Modernia's skill 1. The only downside to this ability, or just Modernia's kit in general, is the reduced ammo capacity. Less ammo doesn't really make sense for a DPS unit, and less ammo on top of a slow reloading speed kills the stacks for Modernia's skill 1. But there is something that you can do about this which I will be going over in the later section of this video. Moving on, her skill 2 is a really good ability that we need to talk about. The first part of this ability is activated when entering full burst mode. At level 10, Modernia gives her team 8.56% more hit rate for 15 seconds, which basically means that your team will have a tighter bullet spread, making their attacks more effective against enemies that are far away and more effective in stages like the Interception S. The second part of this ability, which is the most important part, activates when her normal attack hits 200 times whenever she has the increased hit rate buff. This will then give Modernia 29.38% more attack for 10 seconds at level 10. The attack increase from this ability is actually very high when you compare it to the other attack buffs that the other characters have. So on top of the other buffs that you get from your support units, Modernia will be dealing an insane amount of damage for a short period of time. Before we move on to the next section, let me quickly go over her skill priorities. Generally speaking, you would want to get all of her skills to level 4 because the upgrade cost is not too expensive up to that point. But if you do decide to get her skills past level 4, here's my recommendations. Both her skill 1 and skill 2 are really good, so you can choose to prioritize either one. Although her skill 2 will be a bit better, just because the attack increase will scale better than the critical damage from her skill 1, and having more attack will have a better increase in damage for your burst and normal attacks. On top of that, this also has an effect that applies to all of your allies, so this ability can have more impact in your team. And of course, you can also go for Modernia skill 1 so you can increase her additional damage per hit, because it applies for all of her normal attacks in and outside of her burst. Then I would say that Modernia's burst is the last priority. Not because it's bad, but because the damage increase relative to the resources spent is a bit low. 
This only increases Moderna's attack by a little bit compared to the other skills that increase the effect of multiple buffs that benefit her overall damage. What makes Moderna's kit so good is that her skills synergize very well. A lot of the buffs from her kit directly increases the damage for her normal attacks, which is the main source of her damage in and outside of her burst. For the next part, we will be going over some things that you can do to maximize your Modernia's utility and damage. The most important thing you can do to improve her damage is by using a Harmony Cube. The Assault Cube, which will increase her hit rate, is generally the best option for Modernia. Putting this on Modernia will actually give you a pretty significant damage increase, so I highly recommend you try this out. The Resilience Cube is an okay alternative, giving you a bit better reloading speed. This can help you keep the stacks from your skill 1 more consistently, but I would still recommend the Assault Cube over this one. Moving on, we will be going over Modernia's teams. When it comes to Modernia, her teams are pretty straightforward because she can be very flexible just like the other Burst Type 3 characters. And unlike the recent characters that we've had, Modernia doesn't have any skill conditions that limit how you build your team. With that said, you would typically want to use characters that buff your team whenever you enter full burst mode, so that Modernia can deal more damage whenever she is using her burst. There are quite a few characters that can be good options, but I do have a few of my personal picks which I will go over in a later section of this video. After testing her out, she doesn't really have any big issues that need to be covered by any specific character. While yes, she might need a better reload speed to consistently keep the stacks from her skill 1, but that's not really something to worry about because the downtime for the stacks is relatively low, and she can quickly get to maximum stacks when she uses her burst. If you want a few recommendations or you want to know who I think are the best characters to use with Modernia, here are my top choices. If you are looking for a combination of survivability and more damage, you can slot in Helm in your team. Her skill 1 increases the critical rate for normal attacks for all of your allies, and this is really good because Modernia's main source of damage is her normal attack. Helm's second skill also works really well with Modernia because it is triggered when using full burst mode. So if Modernia uses her burst, she will do even more damage because of this ability. The additional damage to enemy weak points is also good to have, letting Modernia take out the enemy weak points more easily. And of course, the lifesteal from Helm's burst is also really good. In some cases, this can let you get away with running a team with no dedicated healer. And considering that Modernia's attacks are fast and scales pretty high, she will definitely get a lot of healing from this. Another character that works really well with Modernia is Drake. Her skill 1 increases your team's hit rate and attack for 10 seconds when you enter full burst mode. The additional hit rate will also be really good for Modernia because she naturally has inaccurate bullet spread. So this will help make her attacks more linear. Outside of that, Drake is just a really good pick for any close range stages. So if you are in stages like the Interception S, the two of them will give you an easier time in taking down all of the weak points. And before we head to my Modernia showcase, I will quickly go over some reasons why you should consider pulling for her if you are someone who is still on the fence about Modernia. For one, she is the first Pilgrim unit to be featured on a limited time banner. Getting her means that you have one less Pilgrim unit to worry about for your Pilgrim Tower. Another reason why you should go for her is that I genuinely think that she is one of the best characters we have. Her attack scaling is pretty high compared to the other machine gun units and DPS units, and she has an insane utility that straight up deals a ton of damage. She is also a character that is very versatile, so you can expect her to be in your team most of the time. With that being said, I am now going to do a quick showcase of my Modernia. She will be in a team with Litters, Santi, Privity, and Helm, and all of them will have level 4 skills except for Privity who has level 5 skill 1. When it comes to equipment, every Everyone will be using purple armor with the majority of the team's equipment unleveled. And I will zoom in on the limit break stats for each one of them. I will be up against Chatterbox in stage 90 of the Tribe Tower. So with that being said, I hope you found this video useful and hopefully you enjoy this showcase. Shut
So yeah, that's about everything you need to know about Modernia. She is a very strong DPS unit that has a lot of versatility and you can't go wrong when pulling for her. And before I let you go, I just want to give a quick channel update. If any of you are wondering why I haven't been uploading videos as frequently, it's just because I want to take more time in making higher quality content for you guys. I want to make more detailed informational videos instead of just taking information out of Reddit, Twitter or Discord and reading it all out to you. As always, if you found this video useful and you enjoy my content, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.